Yeah. Okay. I, I, I have a, I have a question though. Um, Jason and I were just talking about this. How much he spoils his, his children. <laughs> And I mean, obviously, I can't say anything because it's not really my responsibility. But <laughs> but I will say it on a I'm podcast gonna... that's downloaded by a half a million people. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to say it. Well, where does he get that from? Do, did you spoil him as a kid? Um, no, I didn't. But you, I you... don't think I did spoil him except... Yeah, okay. I was editing the other day and I couldn't, over, I couldn't stop overhearing, but Wyatt was asking you for something, right? He wanted you to buy him something for $1,000. No, it was a ten thousand dollar zip line. <laughs> it was a ten thousand dollar zip line. Yeah, the zip it's line. Ten thousand dollars. Well, well, he wanted the big one. <laughs> Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification to get notified about new posts and to help the channel grow. <laughs> and, and and let me guess, it's in your backyard now. <laughs> Jason already got it shipped in. No, but Jason, Jason, you know. But I, I don't. Th I don't think he's the problem. I think I'm the problem. No, I think no, all I'm kids saying, ask I'm not for stuff. Why it's the problem? Yeah. Yeah. Right. No. This is. I wish we were. We didn't. We were poor growing up. So the idea that I can buy my kid an Apple Watch <laughs> or my kid's happiness. <laughs> <laughs> so I can, you know, because no, I'm, I'm never you're around. Talking, you're I'm with you all the time. <laughs> Let me buy the kid an Apple Watch for God's sake. That's what I'm saying. And, why and don't I'm you divorced. buy me an Apple Watch? <laughs> oh, you can buy plenty of Apple Watches <laughs> with the money you made off of the lip tattoo I got and the injections I got in my face. You can buy plenty. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not like hating on it because I know I'm probably going to do that as a dad too. But it's just, I know that if my but, parents were talking to me, they'd be like, dude, you can't, you can't do this to your kid. You gotta, you gotta discipline him more. I'm just being the bad guy. Do you think your parents would say that to me if we were actually had a conversation about no, it? They'd be like, "You're spoiling." It's none of their business. No, but, but it isn't about disciplining. It's about finding a way to give them everything they want and not have them be spoiled and have them be appreciative of everything they have. Mm -hmm. So smaller so it's not so much. Yeah, it's not. It's not so much. I mean, I think Wyatt and Charlie are very appreciative. For what they have, they're not spoiled. They know about other kids that don't have those things. I also make videos with them, and so to incentivize them, I'm like, when he gets an Apple Watch, I'm like, that's for <laughs> that's for that Brandale you sweated out that Sunday in the park <laughs> with you know that that, yeah. that drone that wouldn't fly totally. But then on the other I, hand, it makes sense. The, you work with kids. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, so yeah, I think it's really important. Kids shouldn't be can, spoiled. Can and I they tell you something? Be appreciative of what they have. Can I tell you That's something? That's key. Yeah, no, it is. But can I tell you something that'll knock your socks off? Why it still believes in Santa Claus? <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> I do too. <laughs> do you? We? Oh, we, we? Jason and I were actually having a conversation along the lines of this: is when? When is his son gonna be? When is Jason's son gonna be too old? to call him daddy anymore. I stopped today. What? I stopped today. I made an Instagram post this morning and I, cause it's his birthday today. And I just said, love dad. That was it. I ended it. Oh, what? But did you tell him that he can't call you daddy anymore? No, no, I'm just setting the tone, you know, it's, that's it. <laughs> Listen, I called my father daddy till the day he died. But it's different. It's different it's with, different for a boy. it's different with a girl and a dad. Oh, yeah. I really? think that's normal. So, yeah. I what, thought about that. Maybe you, Do you like you like how involved David is in my parenting. Like yeah. he's ever raised anything. But like, here's the thing, Jason. <laughs> They're sharing one mic defense, too. It's so funny. In David's defense, you <laughs> do say thing you. You don't say no at times. She goes, she goes in David's defense, you are a bad father. <laughs> <laughs> David no. just nailed the Boston accent for the first time. He finally got it. <laughs> no, there are times when you should say no. I know. You know no, like, I think... I think I, like if you're exhausted and it's 9 o'clock at night and it's a school night I'm giving, and they want ice cream... Yeah. You, you I'm giving it. David couldn't believe that we had that big party yesterday, and then then we also took him. Yeah, out guys, tonight. they had a they had a birthday party uh, yesterday for um for their son, and then today I'm like, hey Jason, you want to shoot? And he's like, I can't. We're celebrating my son's birthday at five. I'm like, what happened yesterday? And Jason and Jason's like, I know, I know. This is the one thing I'm agreeing with you so, on. <laughs> so wait a minute. Oh, so, sounds like someone's jealous. So in David, so in David's defense. Yeah. Well, there we go. I've been trying to think of a way because even Susie. Yeah. Has said to me, their house, their um, no is just caretaker. not in Jason's vocabulary. Yeah, Annie. she said, you know, Jason is so good. No is just not in his vocabulary. He's so and good. And I tell him he needs to. I tell him he needs to say no once in a while. It's good. So 
in that light, yeah. what I can tell you, and I've been trying to think of a way to tell you this. <laughs> All I can say is, you are not being a good role model for Wyatt because you're not teaching him to ever say no wow. to his kids. Right. Think about it. You can't see, but Jason's tearing up I, right now. How am I? No. How am I? How are you? Like, I'm, I've been trying to think of a way to, for you to get it. Like, you, you, you could just say it. You don't have to talk to me with kid gloves. Oh, I get it. Oh, to be fair, I, I, I only give you crap because I, like, I don't care personally that you spoil him. But I know that, like, that a lot of people would give you crap, so I give you crap. You know what I mean? I'm like, but it, it personally isn't about doesn't... spawning something. It's about his appreciation of what he's yeah, getting. Yeah, 100%. You know what I mean? I agree like, with that. I have seen kids that have less than him, and they're spoiled brats, and they're just respectful, and they, I mean, I wouldn't want to be around them for five minutes. Wyatt, even, even if he weren't my grandson, he is fun. He's, yeah, he's great. He's fun, he's great let's, to be let's, with. Let's, just for the people at home, because I'm going to get a lot of tweets, let's see, we're talking about the Apple Watch and the iPhone X, those two things. iPhone X, the X, which was which it's was not, not that, that much Jason, more a that. month. It's not the big things. It's the little things. It's, okay, what else? It's what daddy, else? Can we, can we get CPK delivered? Then can we go get ice cream? Then can we get uh, more it's what candy? You give of yourself, not the material things. It's yeah. what you give of yourself. What you tax yourself on. Yeah. But CPK is easier than sitting here making pasta while Zane's editing next to you us. You know what? You know what? You know what's tougher? Real love. But maybe you should learn that because your kids need it right now. They have two divorced parents. It's not the easiest for them. I have to say. No, no, no. Let me finish. Uh, I have. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. Okay. What were you saying? I have to say that Marnie, um, Wyatt and Charlie's mother and Jason are doing an excellent job yeah. on and the way that they've handled yeah. the fact that, you know, they've separated because. Oh, it blows my me, mind every day. To me, oh, he can't fathom it. He can't fathom that we're like in the same room. I know, I know. You're that. You're like that with your with your with Bob. My ex. <laughs> with your Bob. <laughs> like we, like like we are literally best friends. Yeah. How do you? How would you love someone so dearly that you've lived with them and you've had children with them, and then all of a sudden you, you can't hate be them? their friends. You're all right. All of a sudden you hate them. I hate him. I'm going to make his life miserable. I'm going to take away all his money. I'm going to take. I'm going to make sure he doesn't. That sounds have, like me talking about Jason <laughs> behind gonna, Jason's back. <laughs> I mean, it's so vindictive. No, you're right. You're 100 right. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to take away. He's not going to have a pot when I get through with him. Yeah. I'll fix him. Why don't we that turn? Let's turn the tables on David and talk about all his uh, talk about inadequacies. Yeah, yeah. Talk about why, why? Why don't you have a good relationship with your parents? Oh, what the fuck? No, <laughs> don't do that to him. Why? What now? Look at her; she's defending me. <laughs> no, no, don't do that to David. He's got a post again on Wednesday. He can't get into that now. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I, I have a, I, I, my relationship with my parents is getting better, and they listen and to this. And it will so. as you get older. Yeah, no, I I, I people, tell them that all the time. I'm like, guys, it's fine. We're gonna we're, we're we're good. And it's I was literally such a snobby teenager that I just didn't give anybody a chance. And I also think that hanging out with Jason is, you know, it's kind of like a life lesson for you on what you want to do <laughs> and what you don't want to do when you're his age. Well, you know what a, I mean? a lot of what I don't want to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely that's okay. It's okay. It doesn't matter. It it's out. definitely a big lesson if on what. If it wasn't in your life, you wouldn't even be thinking about a lot of this stuff. That's true. You know. Hold on, I got. I just crafting an email to Wyatt. <laughs> Never fucking call me again. <laughs> <laughs> Build your own zipline, bitch. <laughs> 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 we're gonna have to we're gonna have to stop you right there, Mrs. Nash, because we got to read a bunch of ads, and we don't want you here for the heat that okay. we're about to produce. Because it's when, uh, Jason, when me and you read ads, it's it's something special. Something comes together. It's very cosmic. It's like when a planet is built. It's it's really great. It's and fucking, it's an explosion of ideas. I can hear creativity. the money truck being backed up to David's <laughs> house right now. Yeah, but guys, round of applause at home for uh, Mrs. Nash for coming on the show. Um, I love you, mom. Yeah, I love you both very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for coming. Who do you, who do you like more, me or Jason? Equal. <laughs> you know <what>? Equal? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs>